Nobody wants olives for their birthday. They want liquid, duh. Don't you know anything about style? <sighs> Calm down, we can just make it into a liquid. This is gas releasing into the air. Ah! <laughs> yeah, and the liquid's energy increasing. Ta-da! I want to go outside, but I don't have the activation energy to. Exo reaction products are usually more stable than endothermic reactions products. She means things to do outside are way more fun and productive than things we're doing right now. Hey guys, come on, start this music and dancing. I understand that music and dancing is a catalyst to your guys' reaction, but not mine. So go on and leave without me. You're so rude. Whatever. and absorb it in the house. The new stoichiometry video is up. The house is the system in which heat flows into. These particles stick together in a temporary brief state. Hey my Laurinators, it's Stoic Girl 602-1023 Chem Lover 96 and I went to ChemMade, ChemVS, and ChemFora and I bought these really cool and affordable stoichiometry materials. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert 243 grams of methane into grams of H2 and this is so not scripted. We're going to find the limiting reactant and the percent yield. Less is more! So first off you're going to take 243 grams of methane. This is so my shade. Just gonna be getting a brush. I'm just gonna be dabbing it on. Dab. Don't rub. Dab. I'm just gonna be taking off my sunnies. They're from Ray Bans. Because I'm rich. And for PB. So just gonna be applying this. I like to start from the center and then go outwards. Um I really think this um this color really brings out um, my eyes, which are the color of poop. <laughs> These Asian jeans! I'm done! So now we're going to be putting 16 grams under one mole. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my kabuki brush. Feels like a baby's butt. I'm going to be applying this. So, I think I look really nice. This is like a subtle like back to school kind of look. But, um, yeah. Since 16 grams is the molar mass of CH4, it really makes it pop as you can see. <laughs> so you're going to be getting the unknown reactant palette and getting the 3H2. This shade right here, it's like a nice 
coppery shimmer. Um, and then you're gonna be putting it over the one methane, which is this really nice like rose um shade. <laughs> this one. Okay. If you guys are wondering why I'm looking down, I have the mirror down here, so you know. I'm gonna start in the base and then work my way outward. This is just gonna be in the base. In the base. I'm feeling this. Feeling what? Feeling this. Uh, this is gonna go in the crease. This, the, the one methane. It's gonna go in the crease. Yes. Now you're gonna blend. Blending is key. It's all about the blending. 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 <laughs> We're done with that. Um, it's not finished yet. That's why it doesn't look put together yet. Okay, next, you're going to be getting the two grams from the H2, and you're going to be putting that all over the moles from the H2. This, just wait. That's one. this. I'm just going to be swatching this for you guys. Cherries in the snow, 440. Get it. Got this at um, Chem VS. Just gonna be applying that on my lips. Oh, yes, yes. After all this, you should be getting a nice 91 grams kind of look, 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 look. So if you want a more limiting reactant look, you can take 10 grams off of you. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing 243 grams of H2O and um, converting that into H2. So what you're going to first do is put 243 grams of H2O and put that over one. It's going to be, it's going to be, uh-huh. I love the angle of this. I love it. I don't care. I love it. I kind of pop. So spring 2014. I'm going to be putting one mole over 18 grams, so I'm going to go in for a second coat. But with my other mascara, it's my favorite. Clump Crusher. Love my clumps being crushed. Wow! So, yeah. I'm going to be getting 3H2 and putting it over 1H2O, so my favorite shade right this moment, like right this second, is this, like, it's like a nice, um, gold, copper kind of look, it's really sophisticated, um, 3H2, right there, right there, right there, right there, then 1H2O, is this really nice, like, Opie brown color. Um, I've really been liking it. I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. So I'm gonna be first getting the 3H2, putting it over my lid. <sighs> and then under the Beauty hurts. <laughs> I'm blinding this eye now, but I'm gonna keep going on for you guys at home. Okay, Mr. Lee. Love you. I'm gonna be putting it on this side too now. Yes. Yes. You'll be getting the 1H2O, which is the Toby Brown color. I'm gonna be using that to highlight my brow bone. It's not white, but it's so mainstream. Yes. Sorry about my eyebrows, guys. I have to get them done soon. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Like that. Blend. Blend. Feel like you mean it, girl. And all the way home. Next, so I'm going to be getting the two grams from the 3H2 and putting it over one mole of H2. And I'm using this. And I really like these kinds of tips. They're really nice. Um, and it's in the shade... Lab Coat Black, LCB, 
Um, so I'm just going to be putting that over. Um, doing a wing. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Um, it's not really showing up. <laughs> Subtle. Putting on the wrong area. Yes. They were. After this tutorial, you should be getting a nice 81 gram H2 kind of a look. If you end up getting the 70 gram look instead of the 81 gram look, then you can end up using the percent yield, 70 over 81 times 100 to get 86.4%. Um, I really like this 270 stiletto um, Revlon color stay. I'm wearing it on my nails right now. Coachella 2014. Okay, so that was it for today's video. Um, it was actually highly requested thanks to Mr. Lee um, who requested it 96 times on my last video. Um, I really appreciate it. I love all my Laurinators. Um, so yeah, see you next time. Do you think this is all? Nah, homie. Nah, it's not. Polar. I bet you my soul. Uh, this is polar and it will dissolve. Let's go. Alright. So you want to owe me your soul now, son? Mm -hmm. Alright then. <laughs> All right.